to Blue Lotus Gardens. If you're new here, my name is Blue Phoenix. I do fun planty videos and then also a fun uh, planty vlog where I show my daily life in my plant uh, store and what I do and I share my knowledge with what I've learned. Uh, in today's video, I'm actually I'm going to talk to y'all about my top three favorite uh, philodendron. If you could like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, let me know how you like this video. Uh, give me a nice little thumbs up. Always appreciated. Um, it always helps my channel grow, and I and I enjoy making these fun planty videos for you all. So thank you very much for joining us today. Okay, so we are going to talk about the philodendron jungle boogie. The Philodendron moon Moonlight. And then also the Philodendron Black Cardinal. These are like your pretty common philodendrons. Uh, you can pretty much find most of these uh, in your local nursery. We do carry the Black Cardinal and also the Moonlight. The Jungle Boogie is actually a uh, I purchased that I made one of our local plant stores uh, when we had a uh, a trading event from one of our local Facebook groups. So what I'm, I'm going to talk to you about today is their care tips and then also uh, why uh, why I love these so much. Um, so these are great for people that want to get into uh, house plants. They're a little bit more like unique, but also in a way easier because of their water watering requirements um, and kind of how forgiving they are with their lighting requirements as well uh, you do see and I'll give you all some um, care tips as well on how to uh, care for them like this one is um, the philodendron moonlight there's new growth on it um, the soil is pretty dry philodendrons actually like being in this um, almost bone dry uh, soil somewhat moist but not really um, and you'll really like get to understand what that means as you experiment in your adventure your plenty adventure as i like to call it um, because you'll like want to stick your finger in it and then you'll understand what that means like putting your finger in it and then seeing what that moist means like really having that nut like connection really helps you uh, understand how to care for your plant and your future plant purchases as well for the watering it's pretty forgiving like if you do uh, if you miss a watering or two it's not gonna like shrivel up and die so it's great for people that that want to get into uh, house plants they're, they're so fun and unique they their growth patterns are so fun their foliage are also really cool like my favorite is this Jungle Boogie um, because of Summer Rain Oaks whenever she was doing I believe a home tour or it could have been like a home tour and then also like one of her plant monomies like that's how I learned a lot I really just been watched all those episodes <laughs> um, but she did one and I really enjoyed watching her speak about her Jungle Boogie and how she she loved it and the way it was growing, and I'm gonna show you, like, this is a new leaf that I put out for it. Like, how can you not love it? Like, those leaves are amazing. <laughs> I love the, the, the like little waviness, the little crinkles that it has. Oh, I love it so much, and it's actually ready to pop propagate. So, you guys, I'm going to propagate this one, and I'm gonna make another one. I'm really hoping. <laughs> I'm really hoping my uh, my best friend slash like my best friend um, also a business partner he <laughs> is going to be able to take care of this because I want to give them um, this jungle boogie be or like a uh, like the propagation of it because we both have um, the same Calathea we both have a Calathea rat rattlesnake um, and so it's actually me him and one of our other friends um, and I'm trying to get her a rattlesnake calathea as well because I want her to, we all three of us to, to have the same plant. But um, I love this plant. Like I, it's just it's just so cool. And if y'all ever find one of these, you should get it. 
it's so easy. Uh, philodendrons are so like are also pest resistant, so you're not gonna really find pests on these, and so you're not. And so it's great for people that are like getting into plants that are not gonna feel really overwhelmed with having to keep an upkeep with your with your plants. Like I know I struggled really really hard because <laughs> I was like I just want to know, and I was I, I as, as I always tell y'all. Um, I started with begonias, and so that was really hard for me. Um, but I'm kind of glad that I did. The next one is this moonlight. Um, their growth pattern is is they're all all their growth patterns is the same, and their lighting requirements are pretty much the same as well. They they thrive in a more humid environment, so um, when you want to push out their new growth, um, if you actually dome it or like. Um, I put mine in a in a um, in a huge white bin. I put them all in there that are like needing to pop off that new leaf. I put I just pop them all in there, and then like in two or three days, they're they're already like unfurling. And like this one, I had put it in there, and I just I just popped it out for the video. So I just I love this one. Um, next will be this um, philodendron black cardinal as you see it has these like really long aerial roots coming out so it's really like ready for another it's ready for um, to be potted up into another container I'm actually waiting uh, to do that after Mother's Day so because I'm, I'm doing a, a cell uh, I'm doing a cell for like my plants uh, from from Friday till till Mother's Day so that way you know like there's some time I did a, I did one in the, the starting of the month and then I'm doing one like before it all gets kind of crazy <laughs> I remember Mother's Day I know how it gets <laughs> um, so yeah and then I'm gonna pot it up but this one's really cool because it has this like deep uh, rich uh, green foliage that almost resembles like a chocolate brown um, the early early stages of it like this early growth this back leaf of it you could tell it's kind of like that's pretty pretty cool like how deep of a green it is and it almost looks like it's chocolatey and like uh, that's really cool just the way it looks like the the way it ombre is from like reddish right here to like green I think that's really cool but yeah this one grows very well because of uh, my I keep my my uh, plant studio in about like the lowest maybe 65 percent humid but like I try to keep it up in like 80 especially now that I have a more like rare begonias coming in so these are like my top three favorite philodendrons um if you ever come across any of these always keep keep uh keep a lookout for them and pick one up if you see one we do have the black cardinal um it comes and goes every now and then our, on our catalog um so i try to keep one or two on site just in case uh, i do recommend doing like a nice little misting to them and i'll show y'all so I have one of our uh, our mister. It's it's actually really nice because like the way it missed, um, it's a it doesn't it's not like a harsh mister. It does like this really like good mist like that like con it, it's a continuous spray mister. So I don't have to like keep holding it and I just spray it down like that. I keep it in terracotta because I like terracotta and then uh, I keep Spanish moss on top of it because when you mist it um, it retains that moisture and so it helps it grow and plus I'm not a fan of looking at the soil <laughs> so that's what I do. I just kind of go around like this and then spray it um, and then wipe their leaves down afterwards. Like that. 
and then I use a microfiber towel and then I just wipe off the leaves uh, with with uh, all this excess water and it's good to go thank you all for supporting um, my plant shop and us and I really appreciate you all um, it means a lot to me thank you for also subscribing and watching my videos um, I I'm going to be putting out a lot new videos, so I'm excited for y'all to see all the ones that I have coming up for y'all. Thank y'all. Have a good one. Peace.